I like my new dog, Prince. If you haven't seen him, well, you haven't seen him in the vlog yet, but he will be in the vlog. Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. If you guys didn't already know, I am doing a Yeezy mask giveaway. All you gotta do to enter to win this mask right here is go down in the description below, click on the link next to where it says Yeezy mask giveaway, follow all the entries, and for everything that you do, you do get one entry. I would be quick to do that because the giveaway does end in like 11 days. It ends at the end of this month, like I think on the 30th, 31st, however many days September has. So I would go ahead and do that like right now. Anyways, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, I did do a review on a company called Green Diamond Repair. It is a shoe cleaning product, and I was able to clean this shoe right here, and I showed you guys how I cleaned it. What had to do to clean it and all that and i showed you guys the results and this was the final result of the actual shoe like of how it cleaned up and how it was before it looked like this so here's like a side to side comparison but also at the end of the video i did tell you guys that i would do comparison between how the green diamond repair cleans and how the crep cleans the reason i'm doing this is because i want to see if green diamond repair works better than crep or crep works better or they work the same and both shoes were evenly worn both shoes were equally dirty well now obviously this one looks cleaner because i did clean it but now i'm going to clean this one with crep and i'm going to see which one cleans better and if they both clean the same then it shows that the quality of both cleaners are the same <coughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's just cut to the chase and start cleaning this shoe right here. All right, so for this so-called face-off, I will be using all the products that come in the Crep Protect box, even though this is actually just the Crep Cure. So it's meant to clean the shoe. The Crep Protect is a spray that actually protects the shoe from like dirt, rain, water, and all that other stuff. And all right, well, everything was just stuck together, but I don't really need that except the towel that's down here. Unfortunately, this leaks. This is like the bad part of it, as you can see. All that's all gooey and stuff. I don't know if you can see that too. You see all that gooey stuff? That's actually the cleaning product or the cleaning solution. And for some reason, this bottle, I don't know if this bottle in particular or all of them leak, but I definitely lost a lot of liquid that I had bought, but whatever. Uh, all right, there it goes falling down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this booklet away because I really don't need it. It's really pointless. I mean, it tells you how to clean and stuff, but. I don't really think I need it. I'm gonna go ahead and wash off the brush first because that solution is very sticky and it's just gonna get annoying. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up with water. I don't know exactly how much. It's gonna fill it up like a little bit. I'm pretty sure I don't need that much just to clean one shoe. Probably gonna put less. And as you see, like this is probably gonna be more foamier than the product from yesterday. I think that should be enough. It's probably like about the same amount I put in yesterday. I'm gonna cap that off with it to the side. And I'm gonna use this brush again just to mix it. And this isn't really as bubbly either. Like the other shoe cleaning product from yesterday, Green Diamond Repair, was not bubbly either. I think it actually was more bubbly than this. But I don't know. Let's see exactly how this comes to work on the shoes. And just to make it easier, I'm gonna take the shoelaces off because it was pretty hard to clean it yesterday with the shoelaces on. I was just lazy to take them off because it was just like wet and stuff and I would have squeezed it or just start dripping water first. It was, it was gonna get annoying if I would have taken it off while it was wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now while it's dry. And this shouldn't really affect how clean the shoe gets. It's all about the cleaner. So I've used a crepe before. All you gotta do is basically just put the brush inside the solution and then just start scrubbing. But as you can see already, like I literally just took three strokes and there is already bubbles that form. And that's what I like about crepe. It forms and whoa, I don't know if I just got that clean or it's really just So one thing I didn't do yesterday that I'm gonna do is this shoe is actually wipe it with a microfiber towel. I completely forgot to do that, but that doesn't really make a huge difference on the actual like finish of the shoe. It only just dries it off and I guess dries some of the dirt off. So I guess it might make a minor difference, but not really like a huge difference. So that's the finished product of the shoe. And now I'll show you guys how they look like side by side. This one right here is Crep Cleaning Product, the one with the shoelaces. And the one with the shoelaces on is Green Diamond Repair. And I'm doing it under this lighting because it's easier to see. Like on the other lighting, it's way too white. So it just makes the shoe look white, whether it's dirty or not. I think Crep's is a slightly whiter just because theirs has like the actual bubbles and it. it has the suds. It, you can actually see the bubbles when you start, like the foam start forming when you start scrubbing. With Green Diamond Repair, you don't. And there is still some dark, dark spots right there on Crep's. 
I think I'm pretty sure it took off most dark spots. The only place I didn't really get was right there. I don't know if that's because I didn't scrub enough or what. And on the side right there, there's still some stains, but this one still has some yellow spots. And I think it also has to do with the brush because the brush is softer. I don't know if that means that the bristles get in there deeper or what, but I'm pretty, I think that's probably what it makes it cleaner because it gets in there and it starts pushing the dirt out. On the other one, which is green diamond repair, the bristles might be a little stiffer. Well, they are definitely stiffer for a fact. And the water kind of just drips out of them and the shoe was soaked by the time I was done. The crep, it didn't even get the insole wet. I had to take the insole out of this one because the insole was getting wet while I was brushing it because the water would just drip out of the brush. This brush actually holds the water in. I don't know if it's the bristles itself or the, it just gets held up in there. I don't know, but I basically did the same cleaning process. And to me, I think Crep wins this battle. There you guys have it. Crep does live up to its word. Crep lives up to their name. Crep is just a phenomenal product overall. All their products are great. They're protect, they're cure, they're hat protect, they're shoelaces that don't get dirty apparently or they don't get wet, one of the two. They have so many products and they had like these shoe boxes coming out as well i don't know what happened to that production i was not told by them or green repair to do this video i was told to do the last video by green repair because they did send me the product but not this one this one's just all on my own <sighs> well i wish i was sponsored by somebody you know somebody want to sponsor me hit me up but there you guys have it i think crep still has the higher edge crep is still the best in the league I mean, as far as those two go, I still gotta do more reviews. I still gotta do R Jason Mark. I gotta do Rejuvenator. So if those companies wanna hit me up and send me their cleaning products, then what's up? You guys already know I gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day, and today's fan of the day does go to Hype Beast CSGO. Big shout out to you, bro. You did enter the giveaway for this month, not for the Yeezy Mask, but if you want to the Yeezy Mask, remember, go down in the description below, click on the link next to Yeezy Mask giveaway, follow all those entries, and do it ASAP, because the contest does end pretty soon. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaker, signing out.